Yo, what's up you guys? We're back with another video. We're in the garage on the casting couch. My package finally came in from Techno Toy Tuning for the AE86. Today, we're unboxing tall short throw shifter. Now that sounds a little weird. All it means is that it sits taller than the OEM, but it is a shorter throw overall. Let's go ahead and unbox this because I'm super excited to get this in the car because I've been waiting for it for a while. Venice. Comes with a few T3 stickers, very nice. And here's the piece. Comes in pretty nice packaging. Ah oh, yes. Well there she blows. I'm not really sure what the thread pitch is on this. All new hardware, very nice. This is the part I was most excited for. A nice T3, very nice. It's all completely built and everything. Now with that being said, I'll go ahead and see you guys tomorrow for that install. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day. We're gonna go ahead and head to the auto parts store just really quick. The kit calls for, I believe it's a high temp silicone uh, gasket maker. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and get some thread locker. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that really quick. Then we can go ahead and start that. From what I know, it should be pretty simple. Also, I will say I drove this car last night and it's been a couple days since I driven it because I drove that one for the past couple days. And as soon as I got in this car, this thing felt like ridiculous. The, the clutch pedal actually felt heavier in this car, which is, it's a really light clutch pedal. It felt like ridiculously short. It was crazy. I got really used to that big old long throw and then this one felt like a, just a little joystick on a freaking PS4 controller or something. All right, so just about $50 later, I got the high temp gasket maker, RTV, and I got some medium strength thread locker. Then I decided, hey, I need some windshield wipers for the AE, even though I'm probably never gonna drive in the rain. But then I saw these and then I was just like, all right, I'm gonna get some just in case. You know, I don't plan on driving in the rain, nor do I ever want to drive in the rain because I feel like that thing's a death trap in the rain. It's probably just a good idea. So I decided to get that and that equaled out to about 50 bucks. So it looks like you're getting two installs today. Ooh, really good, even though it's just a windshield wiper. Enough of this, I wanna get it started. So pretty much started off, I think you're supposed to get Phillips heads and unscrew this, but I think I don't have any actual Phillips heads holding this in, so, so that's one thing I don't have to worry about. I think I'm supposed to just tuck this in to be able to release that. Four 10 mils. From chassis to here, it's about 11 inches. It's in third gear, we're going to fourth. five, five and a half ish inches. Now time for the 12 millimeters that are down there that hold this shifter on here. Gasket, should I reuse this? Probably shouldn't, but I want to. I'm kind of shit at that, but I think that I'm pretty sure that'll be good. All right, well, it's in. I gotta let the RTV sit for a while before I can completely torque it down. So for now, it's in. Okay, so this has a little bit more of an angle to it from exactly where I put it last time on the red part of the chassis. It's about 13, 13 and a half inches. <laughs> this shift knob fits on it. I don't want to use the shift knob though because it's super ugly. Let's see if this Hut & Co works. I took this out of the FRS. It works. All right, so while we wait for this to cure up and everything, let's go ahead and do these wipers. These are the Bosch XL Plus for the Coupe AE86 and I'm sure for the for the hatchback one it's the exact same but it's 41919 and 41917. I think they were about 14 before tax so uh, not too bad but um, yeah let's go ahead and get these off. 
Also, I went to the fabric store and bought that fabric for the FRS. And yeah, lots of videos coming your way, which is great. Let's go ahead and just tighten everything up, kind of put everything back together. I'll go ahead and see you tomorrow after this. It's about the time I can go ahead and torque everything down. They said not to torque it down too much, and it actually says that in the instructions. All right, that should be good. I'm not gonna move anything around aside from just putting back the interior. It's been about 72 hours since I've put this in, even though it only needs 24. And now it's time to test out how far the throw is now. So about four and a half inches. Okay, so this stem, wow. Uh, this thing definitely is gonna need some break-in time. You guys seen everything so far, but now I gotta go ahead and see what it feels like on the road. It's later in the day. It's still the first day with the short shifter. All the bushings and stuff need to be broken in. Like, wow, this, this was incredibly tight when I first put it in. It has loosened up a little bit. It has like broken it. I've been driving it all day. I've driven it a lot today. It's, it's kind of weird the the little, the spring that helps keep it and put it in neutral and put it like straight in the middle. Um, it doesn't seem strong enough. It seems like you need like a little bit heavier of a spring that might spring it back into neutral a little bit easier. See this right here? It's in the middle point, right? It's in the middle point, it's in neutral. I put it towards where the first is and it's still there. Middle point's right there. And it'll go back like a very little bit. And then fifth. I'll go ahead and update you guys probably within the next couple of videos uh, that I have with this car. Um, updating you on how it feels. Um, otherwise, it feels great. Like it's a, it's a great feeling shifter. Just go ahead and let me know what you guys wanna see down in the comments. I do got a lot of videos coming. So just stay tuned, you guys. It's not that I just have them planned. I actually have the stuff for them. So I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video. Peace out, you guys. Have an awesome day.